Good evening everybody, it's Jackie from Jackie Paranormal and tonight we are at the Darnley Mill Ruins in Crooks Hollow, Hamilton, Ontario. Crooks Hollow was the first industrial site in Upper Canada. There were a few greased mills here, as well as a sawmill. And I've tried to do research on the sawmill because I read on a forum that someone had investigated it and got activity there, but to my knowledge I don't know where it is and I'm gonna presume that it's not standing anymore because that post was 10 years ago. But this mill is from the 18th century. It was built and owned by James Crooks and during the war of 1812 he wanted to help the soldiers, so he would uh, bake fresh bread for them. And uh, basically, Crooks Hollow kind of became a ghost town because of like the different wars, and actually more about some of the battles around here. There were the wars of 1812s and there were a lot of battles between uh, the natives. Um, I believe they were the Iroquois and the Hurons. But this is as far as I know all that remains of the Darnley Mill. Tonight I am filming using the Psyonix Aurora Pro Night Vision. We are testing out a helmet setup. So it is completely hands free recording. I also have a flashlight mounted to the side helmet of the helmet. That's what this is here. And on the other side, I have my IR light. In the future, I'm going to be getting a double mount system that will allow me to mount both a Psyonix Aurora Pro and a Fleer Breach infrared camera. That way I will be able to record with both night vision and infrared or just simply one or the other in whichever fashion I choose. Because sometimes you can capture quite a bit of paranormal evidence on the infrared. It's very calm here tonight, I must say. Sometimes going on investigations can make me feel a little anxious, but I'm here right now and it's actually pretty calm, I must say. This, so this is a, uh, an actual like historical site. There used to be um, like an image here that kind of like showed like what it was, like I said, like the Darnley Mill and kind of talked about it a little bit. And also, too, to add to the history of the Darn Mill, supposedly there was a boiler explosion inside the mill, and supposedly three children. Hello? Is anyone there? I heard some bushes over there. 
but also to, I don't know if he's still over there, but there was a big deer that was walking around over there, so he like could be up there now. So that could have been him I heard walking around. But yeah guys, this is the Darnley Mill. And also too, uh, I don't think there's anything left of it, but there was, you can hear where all the water is. There's a dam up the river that's the present dam, but there was also the original dam that uh, James Crooks built himself, although I'm pretty sure that's not standing. And I don't think there's anything left of it, so... I was debating about trying to look up the river to try to find it, but... I don't think it will be worth it to do that. So... We are gonna go ahead now. And for what I could tell, the mill is two levels. There's an upper level and a lower level. So it should be good. And this is my new device. The Ovilus. Has a whole bunch of different modes. Try to let oh, you guys see it. All those different modes, so they all do something different. And it's ABC for words, true and false, like yes and no, basically. The one we're going to be using is ABC. Okay, before I get up again, just investigation, we're just going to start with a prayer for protection. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I ask that you send my guardian angel down to watch over me and protect me as I conduct this paranormal investigation here tonight. I wish to communicate with friendly spirits and friendly spirits only. In your name, I pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Contract orb right away. Hello? Queen. Contract orb in coin corner Let's see if the infrared makes it clear in there Nope don't see much of anything Crowd You mean my crowd? Each tune. Lynn Yellow. Huh. Interesting. Mm. Question Phantom. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, guys, this is the ruins. Pretty sure you can go down here and get in. Because the rest is all fenced off.
Lamp, her, Lamp, Warrior, second. Warrior, guys, I mentioned battles. I mentioned the War of 1812, I mentioned the natives. James! Holy shit, it just said James. Cancer less. Good evening, Mr. Crooks. Plant ticket. Are you here with us tonight? And it is said, too, that James Crooks is supposed to walk from the mill to the dam and back and forth. Could be he's looking for his wife, I'm not sure. Okay. Here we go, guys. It's a sturdy head now, so I don't have to worry about the camera falling. I was not expecting it to say James right away. I am friendly. You don't need to be afraid of me. I mean nothing but love and respect. Lash Valley. Lash Valley. We are in a valley. Suddenly Point cry. Huh. Interesting choice of words. Thank you for communicating. I know it's not always easy. And I think this guy's. Oh, that's creepy. Ooh. Ooh. That's creepy looking. But this guy's, I think, was probably the main entryway into the mill. Like for like the workers or whoever. This is a cool little tunnel in here. Got a lot of spikes right now. It's got EMF. And as you can see, it's like steadily, like that's it pretty far away from it, and it's still like half. So there is something here with us right now. And I believe it could be James tonight. Mr. Cook, so if you're here, would you like to talk to me? Inches without. You ought to be afraid of me. I'm just here to communicate. Alright, well, let's progress over here and go this way to the other part of the mill. It's 
an old doorway. Died. Died. Park. Just is a park? And people did supposedly die here. If those spirits are present, I hope you can rest in peace. And if you were children, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Kansas. Single. Soul, Kelly. Oh, soil, sorry, Kelly. What do you mean by soil, Kelly? This is the other part of the mill. It's pretty big, actually. It's like an old ladder or something. Definitely not be trusting that. There's no even point or ways to get up to it. Oh, so branches. That's the lower level. We will make it down there. Pretty frame. Pretty frame. I'm not sure what you mean. Train dock already. Train dock. Already. I'm not sure what you mean. Train dock already? Huh. It's interesting. Just watching my step on here. St already. Steven. Yeah, see you guys like spots like this are kind of weird because I'll keep my light down, but that's literally a house right there. And I'm walking on the ruins of a mill. Now, this is cool up here. Stuff over here. See down in there. There's like some holes in the roof over here. Goes pretty far down. Rebecca. And then a hole there, be careful. Big hole right there. What is that? Oh, I thought that was like food or something. It's just a piece of wood. It looked like either a sandwich or a piece of cheese from a distance. Teenagers probably come here though. I imagine a spot like this with since it's all graffitied. Okay, this is cool. Very cool here.
Normally when you find ruins, they're not like this guy's. Porch. There's not normally this much of the building left that you can actually walk on. But we're gonna get off the roof now. Mark, Beth, saying a lot of names. Were those some of the workers who worked here? Wonder. What do you wonder? Revoked. Okay guys, I'm just gonna set this down for a second. And this is how you get down in here. It's big enough of a drop down in here. Thick. Thick. Safe. Okay, so this is the lower parts of the mill. This would be the inner workings at one time. I would have had the spots here where they had their workshop grinding all the flour and they'd probably have a spot where there'd be an oven I'd imagine Lift square like trenches there for water. What's over here? Dan Hay Bottom. Okay, I think that's the oven in there. That's what that looks like, but I'm not crawling in there. Murder. Bottom. Solid. Murder. Huh. It's like an old screw. Is anyone here? Date. Do you know what date it is? We're gonna go check out the inside of the bottom part. So we're probably gonna do a spirit box. Well. The ground is so uneven. By scratch. By scratch. This. Several. Roll the vis several. Now you're gonna jump across this. Used, developed. Okay, 
Okay guys, so this is the inside of the mill. Like I say, you don't normally get to go in mill ruins like this. Drift L. But very cool in here. Very cool. It's actually warm, if almost anything, in here tonight. So we left their weed bag. Yeah, guys. Uh, either these would be grain or water, I'm not sure. Soul disc purified. Interesting choice of words. It's been going off a lot though. Well, this is cool here. So nice just being able to walk around without having to hold a camera. All right. I think what we're going to do. So a yes no prism. Purified unholy sin. Is there anyone here with us? Here with me tonight that would like to communicate. You've been giving us a lot of words. You've been doing great so far. I'm not afraid of you, you don't have to be afraid of me. You can come talk to me. Is there anyone here tonight that would like to communicate? Thank you. Thank you for choosing to speak to me tonight. Who may I be speaking with? Is this James? Is James here tonight? James Crook, are you here tonight with us? It said your name on the obelisk. Maybe your energy is here tonight. You don't be afraid, this device won't hurt you. As you just seen, 
You can make it flash green for yes and red for no to answer questions. Thank you, good job. Does that mean that James Crook is here tonight? Make it flash green for yes, red for no. If James Crook is here tonight. I'm sorry your mill is in the state it's in today. It must have been beautiful back in the day, I'm sure. Every abandoned place you go, you'll always find a penis on the wall. That's disrespectful. Hello? It went green. Okay, so I asked it to flash green if James Crook was here tonight. Does that mean that James is here? Or is it someone who worked for him? All of this has been kind of quiet. Hearing things outside. Are you outside? Are you earthbound spirits? Is my guardian angel here with me right now? Okay, I think I'm going to get out the spirit box. We're going to turn this off. Okay, I'm not sure what it's saying yes to right now. It's good that it said yes, though. Because both questions I asked, they were earthbound spirits or if my guardian angel was here. So we're gonna use the yes box from Ghost Stop. Is 
they would hear with me tonight. So anyone that would like to communicate. Thank you. 